listening to the smooth sounds of freaking daddy's music. to another episode of Cooking with King. Again, I am your host, King Gahey. And thank y'all again for tuning in with me today. Um, today, we're gonna be cooking my version of what your grandma might cook or your mom might cook on um, some beef stew. Uh, it is my bachelor's version of beef stew. So it's quick and simple. That is my promise to y'all for tuning in that we're gonna have a quick conversation at the same time, some quick, good, good food at the same time. So. Uh, this is my bachelor's version of these two. Um, today's conversation is going to be my top five dead or alive. Um, you know, who's your top five? If you agree with me, you may not. Um, my top five is a little bit controversial because uh, especially if you tuned in to the last episode, then you might think that my top five might be something different. You might think my number one is going to surprise a lot of people. So if I were you guys, I would tune in and make sure, stay tuned in and, and make sure that you see my number one. Uh, at the same time, I'm cooking up this good beef stew. I got my meat over here marinating. It's been marinating for about the last hour or so. All my veggies are ready to be cooked and ready to be chopped up. I'm gonna get those chopped up, get the meat simmering, and then we'll come back and start this conversation. And again, thank y'all for tuning in for Cooking with King, and I'll see y'all again. Peace. Raise your L and raise your glasses. A new king been crowned. I be amazing myself. I put it down with the best. So don't fuck the rest. So today's episode has been sponsored by Hieroglyphic Clothing Line. The Hieroglyphic Clothing Experience. They sent me a nice shirt today, man. I kind of dig. It's like a black black skater or something. That's kind of cool. And of course, we got uh, my uh, other partner here that uh, sponsors us, uh, Lush Cater Bar. Um, they sent me these wonderful stemless wine glasses that. Um, that's right for the holiday season. So, you know, this and more products available on their website. So check them out. And welcome back to Cooking with King. Again, I'm gonna go ahead and put this nice chunk that's been marinating here for probably about two hours. Um, hey, usually you would want to try to put some meat tenderizer or something on now, but I heard some stories about meat tenderizer a while back um, that I technically don't like to use it. So, but you want to try to find something to at least give it a couple of hours or an hour or so to let it marinate because um, this could be some kind of a tough meat a lot of the time. So if you don't let it marinate or cook in one of these slow cookers, which I ain't got time to do. But if you, you got time to do it, that's the option. But if you don't, then go ahead and you can let it marinate for a moment. It's still gonna be a little tough, but you'll have an opportunity to have a decent meal of those. You know, when you're in bachelor style, you just want something to eat. That ain't got to be no fast food, no pizza. So I got y'all. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna throw my chucks in now. But while I'm doing that, we're gonna go ahead and get ready to uh, get your mind ready for this top five. This top five is very controversial, man. Everybody got a different top five. And I agree, I agree. So if you got a different top five in mind, then y'all can let me know. And I'll just end up putting things, put it, put it in your comments in the uh, comment section. Uh, at the same time, you know, I wanna remind y'all to don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and then share. If you don't like what I'm saying, let's talk. Let's have a debate. I'm all cool with it. But I'm gonna put a little bit of that marinade in the pan so that way um, the chicken, I'm sorry, the beef, uh, have an opportunity to uh, at least cook in its own juices per se, or at least marinate. So we're gonna let that heat up and then I'm gonna make sure that everything's spread it out real even. Okay. We're gonna let that cook and we'll go ahead and get into the, today's conversation. Let me get my. Now I'm gonna get my hands together, y'all. I know about gotta keep my hands clean. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do? Let's talk about today's discussion. And again, today's discussion. Today's is top five dead or alive. And I'm talking about top five MCs, hip hop. Who influenced you? Who influenced you? Now everybody have a different top five. My top five is based on my bringing up. My bringing up is uh, again. Some old, older, I don't like to call it old school. It's really middle school because of the fact because older school is like uh, like in the beginning, the early days. Bambada and, you know, KRS One. Shout out to those guys. I was young, I wasn't around quite then, but I didn't have my ear for music then. So when I finally got an opportunity to hear my music or 
uh, some music that related to me, or at least I was able to appreciate music. It was like more around the Tupac and the, uh, the Nas era. So those, that is the type of music. A little earlier, like I explained in my last video, but my first opportunity to like when I was like digging it in my teens, it was like, uh, you know, Tupac and Nas and uh, Snoop and a bunch of people. But uh, I'm just looking back and making sure that the pot heating up properly. Um, I took it out. I'm making sure that, uh, you know, I told y'all before that I get a little hot, but I do got it on real low, so I'm letting, I'm letting it simmer for a moment. As a matter of fact, it might need to come up a little bit because, again, we ain't got time to do it. And so we'll just go ahead and try to get it set up real quick and simple. So the quicker this meat can round, the quicker we can eat. You know what I'm saying? So I got veggies, but they ain't gonna be nothing. We cool. So, again, so before we get into my top five, I just wanted to discuss this right here with you guys that. I, again, I came up from a different background of people, and, and it's not, again, my top, it's not a, my top five. My top five is a different set of values and how I put this top five together because um, my top five influenced me directly. So if somebody as an artist influenced me directly, um, they higher on my list. But again, I'm trying to put this together based on the conversation that me and my older cousin had. Um, and again, shout out to him. Happy birthday, cousin Al, as a matter of fact. So, um, man, we had a conversation and he, helped me, and he changed my top five. And I had this top five in my head for years. And um, he changed it. And it made sense. So I want to share it. So I'm going to go ahead and um, have, have a have this conversation with you guys today about my top five. Not my top five, but the industry standard top five. 